Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Ricky Nelson, and uh, we we just got done with the Eid holiday. And uh, one thing that I really love about Eid, Eid is the one holiday that is about eating. As in, okay, the rest, the rest kind of do the eating thing, but Eid is kind of eating specific. As in, <laughs> yes, there is the whole faith part, but. Uh, Especially for us Christians. For us Christians, it bubbles down to the eating part. As in, and I am sure every Muslim, like 9 out of 10 Muslims, on Thursday or on Friday, received that call or text. No, you, uh, they all know it. They all know it. That call that goes like, Sama Abdul. Sama Siku. Tudakulia Idwavi. As in... <laughs> That's, that's it's all about just food that's all we're really interested in you know these guys have uh, been fasting for a whole month so you know they gotta finish it off with a with a bang <laughs> uh so to all my muslim uh friends and family um eid mubarak um i know it's been a tough month but um it's over yeah uh it's over till next year okay till next year now uh a few months ago i did a video where i kind of insinuated that all of us are criminals and the fact that uh nobody nobody has reached out to question the video or call me out on it that must mean that you guys agree with me and you are criminals so um <laughs> how you doing criminals <laughs> You may wonder why I bring this up, but uh, it's that video that kind of inspired this video. Because uh, we all have friends and family, but we're going to specifically talk about family today. And with our, in our families, we know each other. We know what we are capable of. Because you've grown up with these people since they were kids. So you know what he or she can do. Because like, um, for instance, for example, someone will come and tell you, Hey, by the way. You're like, mm -mm, Z. my brother cannot do that. I know my bro. He, he, can't, he can't do such dumb shit. Okay? I know my bro. On the other hand, on the other hand, they can come and tell you, Hey, Ricky, by the way, <laughs> Because... You know him. You know what he's capable of. As in, so that is not really far-fetched. <laughs> so, I got to thinking. And I was like, so, what do my family think about me? As in, what crimes do they think that uh, I would commit, like, if, if I was pushed to it? You know, if, if, if I had to. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for example, my family is at home. They're sitting down uh, and they're watching news. And Trevor Mbija comes on, yeah, I'm going to try, try, and do my best Trevor impersonation. And if it's not that great, if it's not that great, don't judge me. I didn't practice for this shit, okay? I just had the idea and I went with it. So, Trevor, yeah, uh, they're watching news and Trevor comes on and goes like, uh, he's always, he's always stepping on something. He's never really standing straight. I don't know why, but... Uh, by the way, let me cut off myself. Just kid over and ask you guys. When when did news stop being news? When did news turn into what it is today? As in nowadays, news is just about theatrics and gimmicks and uh, attention seeking. And as in, it's kind of a lot. If you agree, as in, don't you think it's really kind of a lot? You remember back in the day, the veterans, the Linus Kai Kais, the Catherine Casavulis, those who just used to sit down or stand up and look dead in the camera and just read us the news and just give us information not all this unnecessary shit you know it was simpler it was better times anyway anyway trevor yes stepping on something and he'll go like uh so yeah today uh the police uh were involved in running battles with uh some suspects who had just robbed a bank along tomboya avenue tomboya street sorry and um the thugs managed to escape and evade police capture in the hustle and bustle of town these guys were chased and they ran a foot race they ran across town from tomboya street 
all the way down to railways as in yeah and then at this moment at this moment that nosy neighbor comes into the house like boom yeah as in everybody everybody has a nosy neighbor and if you do not know your nosy neighbor then maybe you are the nosy neighbor but anyway your nosy your nosy neighbor comes to the house and goes like hey 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 have you guys had do you know like uh nimeambiwa those guys who are being chased by cops one of them was ricky as then at this moment my mom is concerned about that shit my dad would even just freaking walk away my brothers would just start laughing and i was like kwani i'm just here i said wait bro my bro my bros would be like did you hear what trevor said they said these guys were chased and ran across town ricky cannot run across town bwana okay a short sprint maybe but as in running across town mm-mm. that's not ricky but that, that cannot be ricky <laughs> on the flip side uh the one crime that <laughs> i do think that i would i would I, i would be a part of anyway um so it's sunday afternoon and uh so sunday evening and my family is at home they're sitting down there watching news and jeff koinange comes on and he goes like uh julie you will not believe this uh the cops arrested six people today when they were caught in the back of pizza inn making pizzas to go sell in the market yes this is what our country has become now this is what we are dealing with and then at this moment this same nosy neighbor is going to break into the house like boom 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 and go like you guys have you had okay where are you guys my bros will already be dressing up because they know they know ricky has been arrested i said that's just the kind of shit i would do <laughs> and at this moment jeff would go like julie you have to imagine or at the very least you have to think that these must have been some fat fucks and then at this moment <laughs> the police have released some images of the suspects who have been arrested and as soon as my picture comes up jeff goes like julie don't you see i was right julie these are some fat fucks <laughs> so <laughs> ask us uh you can talk amongst yourself ask your brother ask your sister like what crime do i look like i could commit like but we already established that all of us are criminals from the beginning of this video so just find out what crimes you think you could do i uh, would like to hear them post them in the comment section and we could all have a laugh about them now um if this is your first time here uh the first thing once you do is hit that little subscribe button underneath this video that would be the best gift you could give me the second best gift oh damn the second best gift you could give me is share my videos as in just more eyeballs more people let's grow this family the more the merrier and uh i really appreciate you guys i really really do